It is morning and I am just literally waking up. I haven't brushed my hair or I haven't be taking a shower or any of, any of those things. Um, I'm just getting up. It's 1040 and I am very excited because today I'm going to be taking you guys on the day in the life of a delivery driver and how I get to stay so shredded. Let's go. Morning guys, so the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I tap in with myself and I do breathing exercises just to get a fresh start um, away from social media, away from electronics. Usually this camera obviously wouldn't have been turned on today but I am going to be running through um, my breathing exercises and uh, yeah, today is going to be the day in the life of a delivery driver, Uber Eats, DoorDash driver, and how I stay in shape. Okay, guys? The bathroom is one of my favorite places. I just came off of the throne, and then I look at myself just to see how I'm looking, just to check in with myself. Um, I do a mental check-in, and then I do a physical check-in. So, this is how... Um, I guess this is my current physique. Weigh myself. I'm 191 pounds. As you can see right there. So that's kind of like, you know, what I do um, when I get up in the morning after I do my meditation and breathing. Now I'm going to take a cold shower and I haven't done this in a long time. But, uh, you know, this is the app that I use right here. This is Wim Hof's app. And I haven't done the challenge in like four days. So, like see, it's gonna prompt me to be, do a cold shower for this long. I haven't done this in like four days, so I have to, Definitely prep myself and get ready to get this cold shower in. I'm all excited about my abs and shit. Dope. Dope. So, if you guys that are interested in knowing what I ate and how I trained, um, I do have a website. It's going to be up and it's going to be in the description box below once the website is done and um yeah it's gonna be called fasted gains and i'm gonna show you and run you through my meal prep how i shop how i cook what i eat how i like how often i eat because i eat a lot so right now warm shower this is the warm shower easy hit the app right here boom cold shower on Let's go! Ah. Alright, so look, it gives you 30 seconds to get a, a warm shower in. Boom. Put it on. Woo. <laughs> This is actually longer than the first week. The first week was like 10 seconds, I think. See? So day six completed. And this is the, you know. See, this is the second week. Second week, day six. 
actually felt myself buckle there. Um, this was a bit harder because I haven't taken a cold shower since last week, Friday, I think, after I'm done with my cold shower, dry off, and then is meal prep time. Gargle with some of this hydrogen peroxide. So after I'm done making up my bed, then I I read a little bit of this book, The Four Agreements. Alright, um, this is the book, this is one of the first books that I am reading, I'm almost done with it. Um, not the first book that I'm reading, but um, I'm getting into the habit of reading. So this, uh, The Four Agreements, I would recommend this book to anybody. So I forgot to mention one thing. When I wake up in the morning, I also take pictures of how I look. Every pound that I lose is basically a milestone, so I have to document it. So look, I just prop it up on this, this little bottle right here. So these are the three shots that I got. This from the back, obviously side, and then front. And then what I do is I go to My Fitness Pal and this was yesterday i was just i was have feeling myself um but the this is my progression like i said check the link in the bio um if you guys want to get shredded this is where i came from um i was a bit bigger than that and then this when i was thick, thick fatty so yeah if you want to get shredded just check the link in the bio um but yeah then i go add put in my weight my current weight is 191 and then i add an existing photo and boom and that's it um check that off and look you can see the natural progression should probably just get the whole thing So this is the store, this is a nacho section and they're loaded with different like, you know, foods and fruits and stuff like that. So that's why I come here. So I'm on the road right now, but I am not delivering anything right now. I'm about to pick up a camera, a new camera, well, a used camera that I'm purchasing for vlogging and, and investing in my business. All right, so I just got back from Best Buy. I was picking up a camera, which was this one. I was gonna use um, 60D for $150, not bad price at all, right? And I was at Best Buy, and this camera that I'm using right now, the power button actually is the record button, it's like, it doesn't work if I press it, I have to press it like 10 times before it works. So I was like, you know what? Let me just invest in this camera. This is the Sony um, AX53. It's a 4K swivel screen. It's like one of the last, like, I guess, cons pro consumer video cameras. Yeah. So I'm cooking up some um cooking up some pumpkin right now and some ground beef. That's that's gonna be on the menu. And I think I showed you guys my um my my breakdown, my caloric breakdown. These I'm gonna weigh because I have no way of knowing how much they are. I'm also gonna be cooking this so this is what I'm going to be eating today. 
that was my calories, 100 and, um, 1,405. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be breaking this up into different meals. You'll see in a second. And this is the macronutrient breakdown. Protein at 100, carbohydrates at 73, fibers a bit low, and fats. I don't want to show you, this is not a cooking video, but at this moment in time, uh, I usually start cooking. Not really, but it's 3 o'clock right now. I'm filming, and that took up a lot of time. So I'm going to plate the food. You're going to see that. And then we're going to head to the gym. These are the meals. Um, that is pumpkin, and that is ground, ground um, beef, grass-fed beef. So... That's what I'm going to be eating and I'll be having a couple fruits as well for the day, throughout the day. I also do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat after 6 o'clock. Um, has it been hard? Yes and no. Um, on this diet specifically, because I'm trying more of a high fat, low carb diet, it's been a little more challenging than before. But um, pretty much the same. So I finish all of these three meals and then I head to work um, after I finish these three meals, but I'm gonna have a meal and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm going to go to work actually. After the gym, I'm gonna have another meal and then right before work, I'm gonna have another meal. So, catch you there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, the shift starts now. Moon out. I got an $8 order. Um, I am mainly doing DoorDash right now. And that's only because um, I'm just getting back into the flow of doing deliveries and stuff like that. So I'm not too harsh on myself in terms of like going super hard. But... Uh, Soon we will ramp it up and we will be on fire. Okay, guys? So, 
I just ate my uh, last two meals of the day, which was the pumpkin and shit. The pumpkin, the pumpkin and ground beef. So, about to pick up this pizza order, and uh, about to pick up this pizza order. Should be fun. Thank you. You're Have a good day. The Pepsi is on the inside of the bag, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So, I gotta hand it to the customer. And, uh, yeah, let's complete this delivery. Let's go. So I just got another order. I actually just declined the order for, for $3. I don't know guys, like, um, as of recent, I've been declining a lot of $3 orders. Like I declined almost all of the $3 orders because I realized they're just not worth it. You know what I mean? And I would give, that would be a tip to someone that's driving, you know, uh, DoorDash, you know, if, if you're not willing to do the, the dash, just don't do it because in the end you're going to be the one left upset. So apparently there's a sushi spot in here. Does it say sushi? Yeah, it does say sushi. Um, I have a DoorDash order. Yeah. I have a yeah, DoorDash order. Yeah. For Claudia. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Let me just mark pick up. Pick up. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. We have the order. And now we're going to the customer. Yeah, so, so what I was seeing in the car is, look, listen, if you have an order that is some like too small, you know, obviously they're going to send you, obviously they're going to send you as much orders that comes to them if you don't want to do it just don't do it man there's no reason to do it if you don't like if you don't want to do it you know what i mean which house is it it is five two three three right. sushi my friend here you go, have a good one, man. Thank you so much. Alright, brother. 5233. Three. I just accepted a $3 order, which is against my rules, but let's see, maybe this person will give a tip. You know what I'm saying? $3 order. I could have declined it and got gotten a, a, a $10 order, right? Let's see. In Habati Express, you got a $15 order, $20 order, and you don't want a tip. Come on, come on. I have a door, a DoorDash order for, uh, yeah, okay. this, this person. Almost ready, okay? Okay. And this here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. These people be ordering food and not tipping. Come on. All right. So I got a tip. Let's see. Five dollar tip. You know what I'm saying? People don't tip online, and then they use it as an excuse to not, you know, pay you. You know. And. I don't know. I don't know what. What do you guys think about tips, man? Because I think I think it's important because it's like that's how we we manage. That's how we live. So it's like if you don't get a tip, it's like what's the point of actually doing the work? 
You know what I mean? Like, you get paid base pay $3, and then no one tips on this app. So it's like, what's the point? It's like, if you tip on the app, you come off better than if, you know, come off better than, you know, me saying, hey, are you gonna run a tip? Or are you gonna give me a tip or not? And usually people give me way more money, so it's pretty dope. I'm at 7-Eleven right now. I miss 99.9% .9 of all of my rides while taking a piss at 7-Eleven. No joke, no smoke. And that's real facts. All right, so it's 10 o'clock. I just got a, another order, $7. And yeah, this today is trash. I mean, DoorDash is pretty much trash. Uh, well, I'm in Orlando, so I don't know. Let me know if anyone else does really well on DoorDash, because Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to hop back on to Uber Eats, but I'm going to pick up this this order right now. Is it DoorDash? DoorDash. For what? For Isara? Yeah. Okay. You have more than one in there? How many how many DoorDash orders do you have? Huh? How many DoorDash orders are there? There's only one. Just making sure. Oh. The fuck? Sorry. I don't mean to be an asshole. Give you the drink. <laughs> All right, I just got an order, you know, to pick up something from Wawa. All right, so a little five dollar order. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. That's nuts. What the fuck happened, man? That shit is nuts, bro. This shit is wild, man. Huh? Like, you see that shit? That shit is crazy. How the fuck? I don't know. I think it just happened. It literally just happened. That's crazy. Look at this shit. Look at all of these people. Nuts. That is crazy. I left my camera home. I just I just went home for like maybe 30 minutes and I forgot it. Forgot it home. And that was crazy, crazy accident. Wow. What were they doing? I mean, were they playing? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Look. Oh, shit. Look, see? The, the ambulance. 
these guys are coming. Wow, that's crazy. Well, not ambulance, fire truck. That's, I'm sure the police, I hope. <laughs> I hope they switch drivers because that shit was nuts. They, they definitely damaged some state property there. Holy shit, haven't seen something like that in a while.